Hello family Infigyan. Welcome to Infigyan once again in this very exciting algebraic challenging equation problem where we are going to solve x minus 5 whole square plus x minus 4 whole cube plus x minus 3 whole power 4 equal to 2. I am going to solve this problem by two methods. So let me write method number 1 and directly I will put substitution let x minus 3 equal to t. Why this term only? Because this term having maximum power. So that will eliminate the chances of using Pascal triangle. This is why I have picked this substitution. Okay. Once x minus 3 is t, then x minus 4 will be t minus 1. And x minus 5 we will write t minus 2. Okay. Let's write here. So it will become t minus 2 whole square plus t minus 1 whole cube plus t power 4 equal to 2. Now let me write the formula first. a minus b whole square. I will write a square minus 2ab plus b square and then second formula a minus b whole cube both identities are very very useful. a cube minus b cube minus 3ab a minus b. Okay. Now I will apply both the identities in the given problem. Okay. a minus b whole square. So I will get a square minus 2ab. So minus 4t plus b square. So plus 4. a minus b whole cube. a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b so minus 3t square and plus 3ab square so plus 3t okay and t4 would be as it is unchanged see because of this term having no 1 plus something expansion so no pascal triangle will come once i will simplify this one lhs then i will be having t power 4 plus t cube minus 2t square minus t plus 3 equal to 2. So let us take all the term to left t power 4 plus t cube minus 2t square minus t plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will take first term, third term and last term at one place. So t power 4 minus 2t square plus 1 and what is left that is t cube minus t equal to 0. Now you can see this is again one identity. This is t square minus 1 whole square. You can check a minus b whole square t square so t power 4 plus 1 minus 2ab so minus 2t square and if I will take t common out here then I will get again t square minus 1. Now you can see in this equation t square minus 1 is common. I will take t square minus 1 out. So what is left t square minus 1 from the first term and plus t from the second term. So I am having equation t square minus 1 times t square plus t minus 1. Let us solve both. So if t square is equal to t square equal to 1 then I can write by taking square root both sides I will get plus minus 1. And once I will put quadratic equal to 0 t square plus t minus 1 equal to 0 then I will get two solutions, irrational solutions. Let me put the value minus 1 plus minus square root b square. So 1 minus 4ac, so plus 4 divided by 2. So this will come out minus 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. Now we have to put back the substitution value. What was our substitution? That was x minus 3 equal to highest power. Okay. So I will write here 
x minus 3 equal to plus minus 1. Add 3 to both sides. So it will become plus minus 1. If I will take plus sign then 4, minus sign then 2. So two real solutions, integer solutions you can see 4 and 2. And from this equation again I will write x minus 3 equal to minus 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. Add 3 to both sides, x is equal to 3 plus minus 1 plus minus root 5 divided by 2. So I can write this 3 as 6 over 2. So 6 minus 1. I will write directly after taking LCM. 5 plus minus root 5 over 2. So two irrational solutions. You can see it is two irrational solutions. And two are integers. So there are four solutions by this method. Now let's consider the second way. Second method is I am going to see number line 3, 4, 5. So this would I will consider T. So what I will be getting after that if I am taking x minus 4 equal to T. Okay. This is method number 2. So equation will convert. Let me write directly. If x minus 4 is T, then x minus 5 would be T minus 1. So I will write T minus 1 whole square plus t cube plus I will write x minus 3 so it would be t plus 1 whole power 4 equal to t. Now you can see in our powers there is not symmetry. So we, we have to consider the expansion by Pascal triangle. So for power 4 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 this is for power 3 and 1 4 6 4 1 this is the coefficient of expansion for power 4 so let me write t square minus 2t plus 1 plus t cube and this expansion c coefficients are there we have to write the first term in the descending order t power 4 plus 4 t power 3 plus 6 t power 2 plus 4 t plus 1. This is our Pascal triangle expansion equal to 2. Now if I will sum up this one then I will get one quartic equation t power 4 plus 5 t cube plus 7 t square plus 2 t equal to 0. Now you can see t is common. I will take t out. So what is left? t cube plus 5t square plus 7t plus 2 equal to 0. So t is equal to 0. Once t is 0, what was our substitution? x minus 4 equal to t. x minus 4 equal to 0. So x is equal to 4. One solution is confirmed. Now come to this cubic equation. So by rational root theorem, we can write the coefficients plus minus 1, plus minus 2. So these are eligible solution for this equation. As you can see, leading coefficient is 1. So if I will check by putting t equal to suppose minus 2. Positive solution is not set, will not satisfy because of all terms are positive. So t must be negative. So I will put minus 8 plus 20 minus 14 plus 2. Yes, 22 minus 22 is equal to 0. That means t equal to minus 2 is the solution for this cubic equation, base solution. Let's apply. What method will apply? Synthetic division. Okay. So let me write 1, 5, 7, 2. Put one line over there. Then I will write leading coefficient as it is. Minus 2. Minus 2 times 1. Minus 2. 3. 3 times minus 2. Minus 6. 1. Minus 2. 0. Okay. So our 
क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन विल बी टी स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री टी प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन नाउ लेट्स पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी हेयर आई विल गेट एक्स माइनस फोर इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो एक्स विल बी फोर माइनस टू सो टू सो एक्स इक्वल टू टू एक्स इक्वल टू फोर is there now only this quadratic equation will give us two solution let me solve here on t equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square 9 minus 4 divided by 2a so 2 minus 3 plus minus root 5 divided by 2 let's put the value of t so i will get x minus 4 Equal to minus three plus minus root five divided by two, so x will be equal to four plus this much. So if once you will take common denominator or LCM, then you will have five plus minus root five divided by two. Same result. Okay. Now let's verify two integer values. I am not going to verify rational value. Let's verify the integer value. So I will put x is equal to four and x is equal to two. Verification. Okay. Let me put x equal to four here in this equation. Once I will put x equal to four, so this will give us four minus five minus one square plus zero q plus one power four. One plus zero plus one, which is equal to two, which is equal to RHS verified. Now x equal to two, so two minus five minus three whole power two plus two minus four minus two whole q plus two minus three minus one whole power four minus three is square nine minus two q. Minus eight, minus one power four one. So it is one plus one two. Two is equal to RHS. That means x equal to two is verified solution. So this is how we can solve using two algebraic ways. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe right now. Thank you so much for watching it. Bye bye till next video.